Nicky Devlin, Air United club captain, and you're watching Pro 18. Ah Excellent. Thank right. you so much. No, no problem. I appreciate no problem. it. Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome, welcome, welcome! It is Management Mondays, and we're back with some more foot... Oops. Foot Soccer Ball Manager 22 over here, playing as Air United. I hope everyone is hyped. Oh, man. I've been looking forward to this one. Like, I was thinking about it all day yesterday. I'm really happy for this series. This and Dwarf Fortress, like, I keep looking forward to these streams so, so much. It's just crazy. Just crazy. How's everyone doing? Why well, I me? Mean, thank you very much for the gift subs. That's really nice. Will he in the official streamer very united? Maybe, probably. I mean, you know, if they want to contact me, I'm sure we can work something out. You will we'll work for fresh merch. I don't know. And may, maybe a ticket whenever I can get back over to Scottish lands. Not that I know when that's gonna happen again. <sighs> I miss traveling. Most I miss having the option of doing it. <laughs> Didn't actually travel that often, like at least on, you know, on my own, not for work. But I like the, the ability to know that I could do it if I wanted to. <laughs> Came for the Dwarf Fortress state for the vibes. Man, our Dwarf Fortress run is just going so well too. I'm so hyped about it. So hyped. Need to buy Nikki back to air. Maybe, maybe that's something we can do. Maybe that's something good, because yes, uh, Nikki Devlin, who was the captain of Air United the last time we played it, and when I did go and see Air United in person, um, he's no longer an Air United. He's uh, foot soccer balling for someone else. I can't remember who. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'll have to uh, check about updating the uh, the extra life link. Yeah, might be out of date over there. Probably because it's uh, it only runs for the one year, so it has to be keep tweaking. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> right now, so let's see, you can go back to Scotland around the 31st of February. Oh, that's great! I'll book my tickets for the 31st of February. That sounds great. Uh, yeah, Dynalon, here's the thing. Um, there were... <laughs> it was not just one person mentioning that maybe... Maybe we could uh, rename Maxwell over here to better fit into uh, into the vibe of the, uh, the defensive configuration. And I think I kind of like that idea quite a bit. Quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna just quickly, uh, hey, yeah, Mortrid, yeah, oh my god. I mean, we went to the match, and then afterwards we had a wonderful, wonderful evening at, uh, at the pub. Um, yeah, it was really good. And yeah, the papers came out to cover it. It was really exciting. It was a great time. It was a great time. We're gonna read some resubs real quick, and then get her started. Again, a shoot out to, uh, Wymy, who gifted 10 gift subs right before the stream started. Thank you very much, Wymy. Uh, we got Yabdat resubbing for 72 months! That's a six-year twitch anniversary. Thrice Wyvet at 31 months. Lodrian at 84. Vroom, vroom, no wait, wrong game. Well, maybe we can uh, upgrade the engine and some of our players, make them go a little faster. SNK Private at 13 months with that Twitch Prime. Months Mental at 31 months. And Mordred at 46 months. Thank you very much for that. Uh, rename Maxwell to Mick Fire Balky. Well, we'll see about that. I did think, like, we could rename literally everyone on the team to a Mick, but... For now, just by popular demand, James Maxwell over here, who I will note isn't actually one of our players. He is here on loan, uh, but we are still going to be able to nickname him. I think I liked um, McSwell. Because it sounds like Maxwell. Maxwell McSwell. There you go. McSwell on the back here. That seems like an excellent name. <laughs> Mick Maxwell face. <laughs> 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 All right, so I've made some changes to tactics. Uh, some of you guys who follow me on the Twitters may have read about that, but I'm going to go through it anyway uh, for today's match. Now, um, the last couple of streams, we've been able to do three matches. We might be able to do three again today. Uh, it depends on how much we have to do in between matches. Sometimes it might only be two, but I think three is going to be fairly common. Um... But yes, our first match today is it is a it is a league map a match, a championship match, uh, not a cup game, uh, against Arbroath. Arbroath? Arbroath. Arby's! Anyway, um, which uh, currently are seventh in the uh, since championship, but I mean, we've only had like 
a game, two games, something like that. I think they were kind of uh, pegged to come in 10th overall. So they're not considered to be, yeah, media prediction 10th. Uh, our media prediction is 8th. So on paper, we might be a slightly stronger team with slightly stronger base players. Uh, probably we're about similar in strength, though, overall. This is a home game. So I think I, I'd like to go in with a positive mentality that this game, this match is, is ours to, to win um, if we can. So I want to start with our actual sort of positive, more aggressive tactic. Uh, you know, see how it goes, I don't know, I don't know. You know, we're playing a home game, let's get out there and try to give the fans something very exciting. Um, so I have made a little bit of tweaks to our tactics, actually technically tweaked both tactics in very, very similar ways, uh, but a few adjustments over here. First of all, on our aggressive tactic, uh, I did change our pressing forward to support rather than defensive. Um, but the big thing probably is in this midfield section over here. On our positive tactic, I've explicitly made the wingers have an attacking mentality as opposed to the support mentality from our more cautious um, uh, tactic over here. So the wingers are definitely going to try to move up quite a bit more and get themselves a little bit more involved, uh, potentially in, in the box and everything as well. Uh, the other massive change though, well, Ish, that is a pretty big one. Uh, we changed, so we still have a defensive ball winning mid midfielder and Muirhead is great in that role. Um, but the other role was a central midfielder, generic central midfielder role, which is the most generic, the least demanding, the easiest for our players to handle. But I've gone and made a change to a box to box midfielder, which a lot of people had brought up before. And I did like the idea. It's often a very good pick in a 4-4-2, but I was a little hesitant. But I took another look at it, and our central midfielder is actually pretty good fits for a box-to-box -box midfielder kind of position. Yeah, that, like, our breath sounds like something a, a, a pirate would say while drunk. Arr! Um, if you take a look at Murdoch here, he actually rated, so in a generic central midfielder position, he's rated three stars, but he's rated three and a half stars in, well, ball winning or box to box midfielder. So the box to box midfielder role, if we just cycle between these two, it is interesting that the box to box, is the volume too loud? It feels like it might be a little on the loud side. Or no, you know what, maybe that's just on my end. Maybe it's not that loud, okay. Um, it is interesting that the central midfielder ranks vision as an important trait where the box to box doesn't. I'm not entirely sure why that is, um, but the box to box midfielder is going to have to move around a lot more. Uh, so when we're on the attack, the box to box midfielder really does move up quite a bit more. And on the defense, he might actually pull back a little bit more. Uh, so he does need decent stamina, but uh, Murdoch here actually has a stamina of 14, which is really good yet in at our level. So hopefully he's gonna be able to deal with all the extra running around. Um, an 11 pace is, Decent. I mean, he's not super speedy. Hopefully this is gonna be enough to cover this area. I'm hoping we're not putting too much work on him, um, too much workload on him, but fingers crossed it's gonna be okay. His magical attributes are actually pretty good, right? They're all double digits, which is nice. You know, half decent composure, half decent decisions. I mean, not God tier, but none of our players are God tier in this particular league. Um, so we'll see, his finishing's kind of the worst thing, uh, which is one of the things where as a central midfielder, he's not really expected to do that, but as box to box, he might be in a position to shoot from time to time. But um, I think he's actually, uh, well, he scored in a friendly for us. I was gonna say, he's actually scored. Um, so I don't know, who knows? Maybe, maybe something will come out of it, I'm not sure. So I'm hoping that that's gonna be okay. We'll definitely try to keep an eye on Andy Murdoch here and see how he does in this new tweak position. Uh, the other thing, I think at some points we might have been, uh, we might have had support wingers and attacking fullbacks. Uh, I've got them set to explicitly support roles over here because, because especially with this positive mentality, the midfielder is going to be quite a bit more forward, a little bit more aggressive. I want to make sure the uh, the defensive line doesn't overextend itself too much. Um, I haven't made a change. We were on the lower defensive line. We're going to keep that there. We're not going to go any lower. We're not going to go any higher. So our defensive line still fits fairly far back, which can mean we've got a bit of a, kind of a vertical spread of our players here. Hopefully it's not uh, it's not a problem anyway whatsoever. Um, but yeah, so they're explicitly there. Um, I hadn't realized it, but the tactic had one of our central defenders set to the, uh, the no-nonsense center back, which I don't think is required. I think we can just have them be regular central defenders. Uh, but the other big change here is our goalkeeper. Um, in our in the default 4-4-2 tactic that we're using, 
Our goalkeeper was set to a sweeper keeper, which means they move forward a little bit more. And I think we did have a couple of times where we got scored on, especially with our other goalkeeper, where it felt like the goalkeeper was a little bit out of position and had sort of a couple of derp moments. And it might have been the sweeper keeper role, putting a little bit too much demand um, on the, uh, the, the the goalkeeper. So the sweeper keeper puts them out a little further forward. It does put them in a really good position for... Um, when you're trying to build up an offensive play and, you know, let's say the, the you know, the opposing defenders are sort of blocking things too much, uh, the sweeper keeper being further forward means he's in a better position for the, say, the defenders to just knock the ball back to the goalkeeper as sort of a strategic reset. Um, so by keeping the goalkeeper further back as a pure goalkeeper, um, that will not enable that quite as much, but on the other hand, it does lower... Um, some of the demands on the goalkeeper. And in particular, if we take a look over here with the sweeper keeper uh, chosen on, on McAdams. McAdams is a great goalkeeper for us, great stats. Um, but you can see it does rely on positioning and vision uh, as well as composure. Nine, none of these are particularly good. Uh, whereas if we go to a regular goalkeeper, you see it doesn't highlight those stats because they're not quite as important. So the difference between these two uh, especially and for the first touch as well, right? Because it's all part of a passing. Sweeper keeper sits a little further forward. He does. He gets involved in a little bit more passing. So he doesn't really have the stats to support it. So um, and one of the things is our match analysis uh, talked about goals conceded, location, the penalty area centered, and one of the things that the assistant or the data analyst, I suppose, suggested is a lower line of engagement. We're to have our defensive line of engagement set to low, so I didn't want to go any further back than that, but I thought that pulling back the goalkeeper would help, and in fact, I think if the goalkeeper is sitting further back, the defensive line might sit slightly further back as well to sort of cover that space, so I'm hoping that's going to be kind of the sweet spot there. We'll see. <laughs> the Swiffer <laughs> the Swiffer Sweeper Keeper. Yeah, you have one of those in your closet? <laughs> Da, 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 da. Uh, oh, we're having it. Oh my God. Why are we talking about food already? We're talking about poutine in the chat. Oh my God. It's so delicious. And here's the important thing. The cheese, yeah, the cheese should be cheese curds. If you just use shredded cheese, it will just turn into a big goopy pile. It still could be good, but you really need cheese curds because they sort of hold their shape and, and structure a lot better. Hit the ground running today. Yep. We wasted no time starting to talk about food. I think that's all the prep work for today. Uh, and yeah, I did make the change to our cautious tactic as well, just a little bit. Uh, basically, it's just Murdoch on the box to box, or you know, the, the second central defender, our central midfielder is box to box, and the goalkeeper set to goalkeeper as opposed to sweeper keeper. Um, I don't know if there are any other changes um, on the cautious side of things. Still a couple other things I'm still tempted at, and we still have this third um, third tactic that's in here, the, the four one three two that we we have in here so that it starts to get practice for familiarity, um, so that we have the option of, of tweaking and playing with a few more strategies. Uh, but for now, what the good news is, our tactical familiarity is getting pretty good. The position roll duty one is a little bit lower. The marking as well is a little bit lower than we might like, but overall, we're hopefully gonna be okay. It's nice to see the fluid for passing, creative free. Like we're really hoping to not see as many flub passes as we've seen in the past, right? Where someone passes the ball to where there's no player. So hopefully, hopefully that's been dealt with. Fingers crossed, da da da, for your early tactic, all attack and bottle toss for motivation. All right, um, what else? We had a pretty intense training week and a pretty packed schedule over here. Uh, it looks like our rest level seems to be okay though, right? If we look at the conditions, we got green hearts all over the place. So despite having a fairly packed schedule, it looks like we were okay. I mean, the intensity of the training schedule wasn't super mega high. Um, how is our dynamics? Yeah, see the team cohesion is still a bit of a problem. Hopefully we can get something a little bit better over there. Also the high turnover of playing staff, that's kind of annoying. I think this was a response to the fact that I had a bunch of people in on trial, which I guess makes sense because right, you're having to accommodate newbies being around. Well, not newbies in terms of how much foot soccer ball they played, but new members of the team or people who aren't normally there around. It was probably disrupting some of the things. Apparently we have an unhappy player as well, but you know, hopefully we'll be, uh, oh, Steven Bradley's unhappy about the player time. He's the one that is on loan to us from the Hibs that we actually have no interest in keeping around. We really want to terminate his loan. Can I do that now? Oh, perfect. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of Bradley here. He's actually a very, like, well, he's not actively super, super strong. He's got great potential, but he only plays in positions that we don't have covered. Like we're not using this at all. So we're going to get rid of this guy. 
done. And I'm pleased with that. I think I'm going to be very happy with it. I click no. Well, I mean, I, I clicked no a second ago for the terminate. Because I wanted to talk, but we clicked yes now, right? Or are you talking about something else, Longstrider? Hopefully, it was just that and everything's okay. Mm, let's see. All right. Got it second time. Yeah, the, sec the first time the no was very intentional. But keep an eye on things. I know it's it, it's hard to believe, but every now and again, I misclick on stuff. So keep an eye out for it. You know, every now and again. All right, we got a press conference before the match. Let's have a chat with the newsies. Oh, right. I actually have to hit this button here to attend. Hey, C-Mac, thank you very much. Hang on. It's just refreshing over here. Uh, hi, Quill. Started wa uh, started watching you from an older Football Manager series. Your video popped out because of Air United. Live in Scotland, also been to Air United Games. Never realized how much of a fan of yours I would become. Get yourself back to Scotland soon. Whiskey. Thank you very much, C-Mac. That is very appreciated. And yeah, really hoping, really hoping to get back there. And hopefully whenever I'm there, it'll be while Air is actually playing. Because that would be nice. That would be real nice. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, I know. I think I don't know if these chairs are always empty in this visual. I mean, back here too. I think this is just a static image all the time. But I don't know. Maybe maybe as we get bigger, it fills up. No idea. All right, we're gonna start this off. Uh, first questions from John Ward from Sky Sports. Gus McPherson has suggested that your team. I don't know what accent I'm doing. I can't. I can't do accents, which is a real problem because I'm actually trying to. Um, Start uh, start up a new D&D uh, &D campaign with my friends. I'm gonna be uh, DMing and uh, Like I can do funny voices, but I can't generally do accents It's like I uh, guess McPherson has suggested that your team does not have what it takes to stay up this season Do you agree? Well, I agree that guy's a big butt face So basically I assume they're talking about relegation here with the stay up and I, you know no we're gonna be we're gonna be great I'll small, smile warmly, but perhaps um, it's one of those like sort of sarcastic or condescending kind of warm smiles. It's what I have in my head. Um, wouldn't rule staying, like, rule not staying up, but there's certainly a lot of good teams who look upon us as favorites to go down. I think he's probably right on balance. We don't have enough quality and depth to compete. What are you talking about? Okay, so I would have thought that positive statements in this context would be positive about my team no we're gonna be we're gonna crush it we're gonna be real good but apparently i have to go negative and be a punk i think it's ridiculous you know what we'll smile warmly and be like you know not gonna go on record the claim we've talked about all season not that stupid storm out smiling warmly uh history has shown that teams can generally stay in the championship with 40 points is that the magic number for you and your team this season well i would argue that 42 would be a much better magic number but we'll see um i don't know sounds about right it's always going to be the initial target and typically it's proven sufficient to mean relegation won't happen again our our stated goal like the um the board's objectives for us and things like that is to simply not be relegated um it's not even to stay out of the relegation uh, battle. But as long as we don't get relegated to the end, the board's going to be happy. Personally, I'm hoping we avoid the relegation battle entirely. Um, you know, and I I, I was going to say, in my what game, I have a mid-table finish plan. I don't know exactly where we would define mid-table. I don't think... I'm not really talking about coming in fifth or sixth. Um, if we come in, like, eighth and above... I think I'd be fairly pleased with this first season, uh, you know, giving us a little bit. Well, I guess, that, oh no, that's what I'm thinking about. 10th, I guess, is auto-relegated. 9th means you go into the battle. So yes, I would, I guess this is probably the mid-table here, 5th through 8th, because everything above that is, like, is this the tournament for, for upgrading? I think so. I think 1st automatically goes up, and these three positions fight the bottom most or the ninth position from the league above. So yeah, fifth or eighth. So as long as we end up eighth or better, I'm going to be very pleased with that. Anyway, I uh, certainly hope it'll be enough. I'm going to go this one, you know, sort of mid here. Uh, we'll just have to do our best to accumulate as many points as possible and see what happens. Bam. Are you confident in reaching that target? I rate our chances high. You know, I don't want to go overboard and say, oh man, we're going to crush, it's going to be fine. Because then you look like a real butt leader if it doesn't work out, right? They will they replay it, you know. It's like, oh man, we're going to do awesome. And then you like, you come in like with the worst performance in the entire history of the club. Well, I mean, if you get the worst performance in the entire history of the club, I suppose they're going to mock you, mock you regardless. But it'll be easier if you've said something stupid 
on uh, on video. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you prepare for a match against a team as experienced as the one Dick Campbell has put together? Dick is very fortunate. I just want to pick this answer because it, it just, you know, uses his, his first name here. Dix is very fortunate to have the wealth of experience available to him, and it does give us something to think about. We have to hope that we might have the upper hand over one or two of their players in terms of fitness, which is the edge, or I think the challenge are more for Dick than me. He has to work out a way to get the best out of an aging squad where I can prepare knowing we can run rings around them for 90 minutes. So I guess both of these are actually, it's interesting. I guess this is just nicer because this is actually less enthusiastic. It's like, no, nah, he's got a good team, but hopefully, you know, we got a little bit of an edge somewhere. And here it's like, your team is old and so are you. And our team is strong and young and powerful. Like the last one, I think they look like an old team. We certainly have not anything to fear. Do we want to start like a shit talk with Dick Campbell, the uh, manager of Arbroath? I mean, he's not our, our rival. You know what? No, we'll just be, uh, you know, he's he's got, he's got a wealth of experience. That's code. That is code for he's got an old ass busted squad, but we're gonna say it in a nice way. Is it fair to say that you're perhaps a bit envious of the amount of experience that Campbell has available to him? No, I'm gonna say you're a butt Paul Grant of the Air Football Times. Um, you know, honestly, I wanna say that you just don't know Dick. No, I don't want to say that, like, I, I don't want to say say anything that'll make my squad think that I wish I was managing the other team. That's no good. Uh, where's the memory? I think about this one. I mean, it's a little bit similar to what we've already said. Not all. Dick is lucky to have such a wealth of experience in the squad, but I'm just as lucky to have the talent that we've got available to me. Uh, it just means the fans should be in a great match on Saturday. For the Let's hear it for the fans! I learned everything about PR from uh, watching uh, Bolin in season two of Le Legend of Korra. My, my, one of my favorite side plots. Some people didn't care for that side plot. I loved it. Bolin the movie star, fantastic. Sorry, mover star. Um, Sean Morrison, Sky Sports News. Is there a team that you, would, that you consider to be favorites to be relegated this season? This, sh this should be my Wait, I gotta choose a team? that will be like relegated here? No, listen, I'm not gonna make a comment on this, sorry. All right. See, we can't, we can't please this guy. We've, we've had a really hard time. We, we actually bumped him back up to indifferent last time and now here he is <laughs> being a shithead. He's being a real Campbell. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, hello Emma, who do you think sucks? Yeah, they're just trying to stir up shit. They don't like that I sidestepped it. All right, yes, Dan, uh, Stephen Bradley returned to the Hibs, terminated his contract, which is actually gonna free up some wages because we were paying his full wages and weren't using him. Mm-hmm, hoping for a fitness edge against experienced Arbroath, yes, hopefully. We got a bit of a younger squad overall, but hopefully they've got the, the oomph to go for it. We'll see. Uh, 34 year old goalkeeper, too expensive. No, I'm just going to uh, check mark that. No, thank you. He's way expensive. Harry, Harry Mc, McAvoy. It's pretty cheap. We don't know what his potential is. It's at least two and a half stars, but it's somewhere in this range. We don't really know. He's available in a free transfer. Tell you what, let's shortlist him and fully scout him. Uh, no thanks. You're fairly affordable. Asking price is below market value. He's over at Partrick Thistle. Agent couldn't want a high agent fee. But yeah, otherwise he's very affordable, this guy. Let's definitely scout uh, Darren Brownlee. Garrett Evans, just check mark that, check mark that. I don't want to X them out forever. Harry Williams. 
The transfer is probably too expensive. Let's not worry about this guy. And he's not even got that much stuff on there. I mean, again, there's a range here because our scouts aren't like, they're not psychic, but. Pro scouting in progress. Oh, is that, uh, am I scouting someone else at Burnley? Maybe? And he's wanted by another team, so there might be some competition. Transfer value, like, upwards of a million pounds? I mean, maybe as a loan. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with this one. There's lots of people at Burnley that we might want to take a look at. <laughs> maybe two million pounds. What the shit? Well, attacking midfielder, no, maybe I should have checked this, the, the, Striker. Here's another one here. Wow, they have a lot of high quality youngins. Burnley is what? English Premier Division. Okay, that's why there's so many good freaking players in here. Look at his current stats. Actually, if we could loan this guy, he would probably be sick for us. Oh, Burnley's your affiliate. Right, that's our partner team. Huh. We could use another decent striker. Should we just make a make an offer for a loan? Um loan offer. Alright. Costs us nothing. Eleven months. We'll start them regularly. Probably yeah. I mean we're not gonna we don't need to agree to a preferred position. Like if they're not demanding a preferred position, then we don't really care. I should have gotten someone else in that list. But I'm hoping that this guy here, that means he's currently getting paid 400 pounds per week, but this is, I don't think we're paying for his wages. Yeah, playing wage percentage. We are gonna pay 0% of his wages. That's the important thing. Yeah, these this guy should be free. I guess I can't make it so that um, he can't be recalled, unfortunately. Click on Burnley. Oh yeah, and then take a look at him. All right, well, let's make this offer. And yeah, that's a good point. Um, I don't know if I can tell who they've got loan listed, transfers, loans. No, these are the active loans. I mean, maybe I can just like make requests. What, I need I need to scout? Listen, Gary, scout this team. This guy here is also from Burnley, midfielder. Like he's probably like deadly good. Just grab him. Yeah, they're not playing for free. It's just someone else paying for their salary, which is excellent. Okay, we'll just ask for these two right now. Another striker. Actually, less interested in this one, so that's fair. Defensive center. Yeah, maybe less interested there too. Okay. All right. I mean, they won't be available for today's game, but maybe next one. All right, team training. Uh, let's criticize Tommy Adeloy for poor training here. Uh, very disappointed by your performance and training of late. My fault, I'll make up for it. Excellent, morale goes up, and it could boost his um, work rate, determination, or one of the behind the scenes stats. So if, if someone performs poorly in, in training and you, you criticize them for it, it does um, it does tweak some of their stats in the background, which can be very good. Alright. 
preview here of everything. Harpool makes Lone Approach for Thompson. Is this just someone on my... This is probably just someone on my uh, short list somewhere. Yeah, one of the Burnleys. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, Jack Baird, looking good. Excellent. Okay. Oh, this is where you, you set the attending. Scout match, attending match. No, that's already happening, obviously. I'm just wondering if we could get more, more info here, but that's okay. All right, tactical meeting. Let's see what we got. Um, expected lineup, sure. I'll uh, I'll go ahead with these um, these opposition instructions. So we're gonna trigger a press when uh, David Gold has the ball. Who's that? Uh, so he'll probably be playing either center or one of the wings. Uh, and then trigger press when it's Nikki Low. Same thing, sort of center. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. That's gonna be fine. Because uh, that doesn't actually change our tactic. Now this would change our tactic. Maybe we do want to adjust our tactic to use tighter market in general, honestly. Um, yeah, match thickness, increase attack duties. Well, we, um, I guess we only have three attack duties, but still, that, that's gonna be fine. Adjust instructions, no, that'll confuse things. Yes, Murdoch and your head have good relationship. That seems really good. Sold out nearly 2,000 tickets. Nearly 20% of our seating has been sold. My gosh. All right, I like, I think, who we're going to be starting today. Pretty pleased with that. Um, Ekerpont isn't in the lineup, and, it, and neither is Hewitt, but we are a little full on things. I suppose I don't need Sockheld and Mackenzie. Sockheld currently, apparently has been running a heavy match load. Maybe we'll uh, just do one of those. There you go. Chalmers definitely has a heavy match load, and that's just the way it's going to be. He's uh, he's too useful. I mean, he's great in both center uh, center midfielder positions, and I think he's decent at, like, central defender, like the defender back here, and maybe even one of the wings, too. 20% mm -hmm. seating in this economy with this pandemic? Hype! Yeah, I don't think the pandemic is currently uh, simulated, which does make it seem that much worse. All right, let's go. All right, some people lacking tactical familiarity. I mean, we did make some adjustments, but hopefully it's okay. All right, listen. Um, yeah, I do want to see a marked improvement from all of you today. Yeah, and I'm not going to be nice this time after the conference if we don't win here after the after the game. All right, good. Everyone's seeming a little bit motivated. I don't think I'll do too much else then. If they're a little bit on the motivated side, that's looking good. Oh, let's get hyped! I like this screen. Wish everyone had a face. Damn these faceless players. All right, so it's going to be a home match, so we should be in our uh, our stripes over here. We got the white and black stripes. Opposition. The Arby's. Hmm. I can go for some Arby's right now. Maybe a Jamoka shake. Oh, my God. What the hell? Get this locked in here. What's our... Uh, let me just check on our highlights. We've got comprehensive highlights on, which is going to be okay. Oh, my God! Murdoch just gets bowled over by Low. Ah, he gets a yelling cue from the uh, referee, but no card yet. I mean, it was pretty early. Let's start with the yellow right away. Try to set the tone. McAllister fumbles that. Or Austin might have insane tackling stats to take it away from him. So Henderson's moving it up the wing. Over to Austin. I'm getting a feeling that Austin might be a little bit of a danger for us. Uh, they generate a corner. I mean, good, good block there. I'm happy that I can't click on this guy right now. I don't know who actually caused the block. You know, last thing we wanted him to just be able to knock it in there, although it's going to be happening another way. Houston knocks it out. Alloy trying to race for it. Donnelly with the slide. Oh, my God. Nothing. That was apparently a picture-perfect tackle, so they say. All right, McForty sends it back to McAdams, who is sitting further back, doing the goalkeeper thing as opposed to sweeper-keeper. Does long to up forward. Adeloy gets the header. Moffitt over to Houston on the wings. He's pretty pinged down, though. He's going to have to send it backwards before he loses it. Oh, no, up into the wing to McAllister, who gets behind him. So McAllister's our fullback, so he went past our winger to get in position, which is great. A direct pass forward. Murdoch does keep the action going. I'm going to say our two center midfielders, ah, so good. There's McSwell. Boots it from outside the box, but it goes way too high. But, I mean, at least we got a shot-ish. I don't think it even counts as a shot on, though. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Donnelly. Tons of space. Oh, was it offside? He was offside. That would explain why. Okay. Mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. 
defensive tactic makes room for them to attack. But we're on positive mentality over here. You know, home game, we really want to put some score points on the boardage today for our fans. Houston, nice header to Moffitt. Oh, it gets deflected. I think that was right on target, though. That was really good. Too bad it didn't go in, but at least we got ourselves a corner here. All right, Redding, near post. Henderson heads it out, so it's going to be a throw-in for us. The offense continues. Good stuff. All right, Muirhead with the toss. Throws it deep to McGinty. Oh, Gaston. Oh, no one blocks a shot like Gaston, but we keep the offensive. That Actually, I'm surprised we got the ball there. I think that was a kind of a mismanagement by our position. Whoa, Henderson. Come on, ref. Clearly that was a foul. Oh, me. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. I see how it is. Fucking referees, man. Can't. Oh, all right. Why do we have the ball? It looked like it looked like we were being called on a foul. Never mind. See this Austin guy. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, listen, I want to keep this guy tightly marked. First of all, let's take a look at this guy, Mitch Austin. Are you just really fast? Jesus Christ. That is some acceleration. So not crazy pace, but yeah, he comes out super fast, and he's going to be fast and annoying the entire game. Look at this star rating. Is he actually contracted? This is not a loan? Holy shit. Check him for illegal shoes. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so Austin over here. Uh, yeah, let's, um, let's try to mark him a little bit more. Yeah, we, we got to make him not be... So we don't want trigger press. So trigger press is when he's got the ball, we close down on him very quickly. What we want to do is we want to make sure there's someone on him so that he's not an attractive target to pass to. Because once he's got the ball, he just goes nuts. And we can go a little hard on the tackling. Or show on weaker foot if we had any idea that he had a weaker foot. But I don't know if... I mean, we know he's got a preferred foot, but I don't know if it's weaker or not. All right, we're just going to mark him tightly for now. All right, Austin to Donnelly. Whoa, <laughs> Redding. This, that was all the making for one of those, like, um, well, highlight rule, I, real, I guess, but, you know, like, embarrassing own goals. Like, Patrick Redding was clearly just trying to head it to the goalkeeper to McAdams to sort of reset things, which is exactly what happened. But if McAdams wasn't following quite right or had a little bit of a fumble there, that could have been an own goal. <sighs> Low light reel. Yeah, there it is. All right, we got a free kick here. Muirhead sends it deep. Stewart knocks it out to low. Looks like they are going to be able to clear it out here. Austin to Henderson. Dumps it. McSwell is there to pick it up after running forward. Murdoch just beautifully avoids a bit of a tackle there. And we regain the ball because of a failed pass by Arby's. Moffitt centers it to Murdoch, who's got... Oh! All right. Oh, he had some clean air in front of him. Thought something might have happened. No one goal kicks like Gaston. There's Austin again, but right on him. Austin and Houston over here on the right-hand side getting some battles. That's awesome. I mean, I call him Houston, but maybe for this match, we'll go and call him Houston because of Austin. Redding to Adeloy. Back to... Ooh! Attempted to go back to uh, Redding, but I don't think it quite made it there. They've, they've got some... I gotta say, this team is uh, that we're playing against, they're pulling some really swell moves. Adeloy beautifully handled. Oh, my God. That little step back. Murdoch comes in for the big power hit from outside the box but sends it too high. Still, I appreciate the effort there. How are our stats? It feels like overall possession's in our favor by quite a bit, yes. Pass completion is insane for us as well. It feels like we're absolutely dominating this match, but one shot on. I mean, we are playing aggressive, but nothing's come of it so far. Hopefully, we're not wearing ourselves out. There's Austin again, generating another corner. <sighs> Remember the Alamo. <laughs> the battle for Texas, exactly. Hmm. All right, low with the corner. I think that was Muirhead who sent that out. Moffitt's there to scoop it up. He's completely pinned down, though, and another beautiful kind of slide tackle to take the ball away from them. I feel like this team's really good at their tackles, at stealing the ball away. Impossible to keep a watch. You need to watch each one. Um, I don't... That's a good question. It used to be you could, you'd only do it by vacation, but I'm wondering if it's possible to not coach a match with that little pull-down menu at the uh, when we're doing the match prep. I don't know what the process is. They've changed something here. Oh, there we go. Nice header to Moffitt's feet. 
lots of bombs from afar which aren't really working out that being said i'm not sure that he could have worked it more in the box there right he had players in front of them players to his flanks as well he was stuck in the middle with the ball he had nothing to do but to shoot i'm not sure that's always been the case for all these shots outside the box but i mean uh you know as that one guy who runs the paper company said uh, you miss every shot you don't take. Whoa! McGinty clears it. Thank you. Oh, my God. I don't like that they're having another one. Oh, McAdams has to dive to knock it out of the goal. It is going to generate a corner. Maybe we should switch to a more defensive uh, posture here. Oh! Goal kick. I mean... We'll run this for a little bit longer. It still feels fairly dominant. Okay, possession has equalized a little bit. Here's Mixwell. Throws it forward to Adeloy, who's on the flank. Sends us up to Murdoch. The goal, the, the referee's in the way. Come on, ref. Get out of there. Out of the way to make Whistwell. Whoa, who gets knocked over. Free kick. That is going to be an interesting angle. Sort of a quasi corner. Or does they reset it further back? That's interesting. Maybe that may, this might be a different play. Like, I don't know what this highlight is. Because I would have thought we'd have a free kick from over here. So maybe that went nowhere and this was another free. I don't know. All right, Redding. Whoa, Houston with the, the, the header, but that was pretty dis distant. And it came at him with a lot of power, so it went high. Yeah, it did get skip. Yeah, okay, good. It's like, there might be a rule in foot soccer ball I don't know about. We're up to Moffitt. Houston, back to Moffitt. Redding, ooh, can't, doesn't get it stabilized on the foot. Does get it to Adeloy, but fortunately, defender up there. That was, a, that was a good opportunity that we didn't really get to fully execute. Off to Adeloy, completely pinned in. Gets it to Houston. He's going to have to send it away somewhere. Murdoch back to Moffitt, but he's got four players surrounding him. Adeloy, another boot from outside the box. Hmm. Hmm. We did generate a corner, though. Redding. Oh. There was no one there to take that uh, that corner kick. That was a little bit embarrassing, to be honest. Your head to Houston. He's in the box. Another corner. Okay, 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 okay. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Reading. A little boot again to Oberyn. Okay, we have to um, we have to make an adjustment here to our uh, corners uh, when we're on the attack because we're trying to do the near post, but there's no one sitting there. Here, I'll just enable some some mixed instead. The defensive positioning is dealing with our near post corner kicks too well. Low to Austin with the header. Okay, it goes way up for goal kick. Good. Good, good, good. Getting lots of chances. Need to dial in the accuracy. Yeah. All right. Murdoch on the wing. Oh, sends it a little far ahead of Redding, but it does actually. We've got a lot of space to work with here. McAllister bombs it from outside the box. And it was, I mean, it was low and not necessarily the fastest, but definitely an opportunity and generates another corner for us. Let's see if our change makes a difference. Redding centers it more to make 40 with a beautiful header, but the goalkeeper reads it correctly to dive in front of the ball. Holy cow. They've got a yellow card on their Henderson. All right. Oh no, the header. Okay, it goes high. Oh, fucking this Austin guy. I, I don't know, like, I mean, we can't. We can't have our whole team just glued to him. We have three on shots. Our expected goal is 0.67. Definitely ahead there. Possession ahead. Pass completed. Still looking okay. I mean, we're not hitting 90s, but we're still well ahead of them. Patrick. It is Patrick, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Patrick Redding. Generates another corner for us. Gets ready to take it. McForty with the header. Oh! Moffitt just a little too far back for the secondary header. Oh, it would have been wide open. Damn it. Just not quite in position. Couldn't quite get there. Uh, that was an interesting, yeah, They're, they headed it, but not handled correctly. Deep dive for a reset. Houston, oh, cannot hold it. Can we get a tackle on this Austin guy? All right, we've got the angle covered at least. They're going to generate a corner out of it, though. Twist Austin's ankle. You know, talk, tackle him hard. It's not very uh, sporting. We're about at the half. I think that'll be a throw in for them. Oh, there's a, then, then it led to a corner! Jesus Christ! That was way too close. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hate that there's another corner coming up here. Let's rewind. Uh, let's watch this again. That was incredibly terrifying. So it's low. Nubel's going to get a head on it. 
and then Mickey Adams has to dive because it's going for the far corner, although we have someone sort of vaguely there. He just has to knock it out of there. That was terrifying. And now they've got another corner as well. Okay, all right. The corner was just handled badly. It is going to be a throw-in for them, but at least we've got some distance on us. What we'll probably do is come out of the half, and I think, you know what, I'll, I'll change the tactics now. Uh, we're going to switch... We're gonna, we're gonna take it down a notch over here. We'll sit a little further back. We'll go to the more defensive line and see what we can do. <whistles> Jesus. All right, they both keep possession. Although, oh, wait, free kick. Oh, Lowe's outside. Why did I say this is a free kick? I guess free kick for us. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe, we are. It does feel like we're dominating. It just, this, I guess is the problem is the last 10 minutes has felt very scary. We can, we can sit back for a little bit. I'm not sure your aggression is the cause of all the chances for Arby's. That might be true. Maybe our aggression is not, is not the, actually the issue. Hmm. Yeah, because most of their chances are coming from set plays, which isn't really what our aggression is generating. You know what? No, let's let, let's keep the positive edge. Don't like what I just saw from this team. We well, you know what? Not to praise these guys. Listen. I mean, I'm pleased with the number of shots we've taken so far. But they haven't actually got into the goddamn net. Being unlucky. No, no you know what? Listen, I, I'm going to go for this one. I don't like what I just saw from the team. There you go. Seem motivated. Never praise your players. I always have to... Because I want to be like, no, listen, that was really good. Just, you know, try to give it a little more. No, no, no. Never, ever let them think that you're happy with them. They expect to get yelled at all the time. Yeah, exactly. You suck! They do seem mostly fired up. If we take a look over here overall, like, everyone's feeling very motivated. Everyone wants to score some point goals. All right, we're going to keep... We're still on the aggressive, the, the positive mentality. Mix well to Adeloy. Big sea of red behind us. They might just be playing a lot of direct counter kind of vibe as well here. Mix well to Murdoch. Who's... Oh! Knocked down immediately! Penalized for fouling. Give... Throw him out of the game! Come on! All right, they still only have the one yellow card. All right. Big kick from McGinty. Adeloy is making a run for it over here. Oh, as I said, as long as there's no offside. But Gaston was right in position to just block that up. I'm not sure Adeloy had any other play, though, with the momentum the ball had and the positioning. I don't think it was a sideways pass. All right, McCordy back to McAllister. Resets it backwards to Houston. Set, uh, centers it to Murdoch. Pushing it forward. Off it. Sends it to the flanks. I don't. Oh, Patrick's going to be able to get th there. Uh, I was going to say, probably just going to generate a corner here because the defender's right in his face. All right. It was offside anyway? Okay. Can we keep the ball? No. And he's going to try to squeeze it up the flank. Oh, gets a little bit blocked up. Golden low. Oh! Threads it to Donnelly. Don't like to see that. McAllister, though, is able to beat Austin. Good. I was going to say something about Austin tiring, but he's got huge stamina, so I'm not sure that was the case. Opposite sensors up to Murdoch. Adeloy, he's not going to have an angle to score. Oh, is he offside? So many offsides. Okay, let's take a quick look at our team situation. Um, we do have a couple people starting to tire pretty quickly here. Murdoch's having a good game? I, I certainly would say so. Um, lowest rating looks to currently be with Muirhead, but he's not that tired, and we're all feeling pretty fired up. Um, it, we might look at replacing Jordan Houston here. I don't think we're really feeling the need to sub anyone quite yet. Although, look at this. Finn Ekropont is feeling focused. Joe Chalmers feeling motivated. It actually would be really nice to bring them in. So Finn is really uh, the defensive left over here for Mixwell, um, who's not yet motivated, unfortunately. But he's not super tired yet. 
I mean, we might replace Murdoch with Chalmers because he is tiring out, but not yet. It's a little early. Maybe we'll take another look at the 60 minute mark. I just want to kind of check. Out oh, with Adeloy, oh, perhaps. And bring in Mackenzie, perhaps. Let's wait a little bit more. Uh, offside always feels like we were ruled to move defense. Let's the guy gets past him and start fall. Yeah, but then you just have one guy just like sitting back by the, the the goalie all the time behind everyone else, and that leads to really degenerate gameplay because then you just send a high boot way back to there. So then all of a sudden you have to have like you have one striker and one defensive player sitting here by the net while the play is in the opposite half the entire time. It, it's it's really goofy. So yeah, yeah, that's what we used. I didn't use the term cherry picking because that's what we used to use like when I was a kid. But I'm like. I don't know. Is that is that something everyone knows? Is that just a Canadian thing? I don't know why they were called checky, cherry pickers. Is cherry picking something you do late in the season? Is it a really slow thing? Maybe you got to pick cherries manually, so it takes a really long time. Like I don't know the the root of that expression or how universal it is. All right, Golden Low. They have a really good pairing on that wing. Austin, no! Where's my water bottle? Urgh! Here, I've got a, I've got a bottle of vitamin D. Uh, or, yeah, vitamin D pills. Toss that. Dang it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's uh, let's shout it up here. Let's get the team fired up. It might lead to a few more fouls, but at this point, I don't care. Whoa, Adeloy. Tries a little move. I did say that Gaston. He's always got it. Muirhead moves it up quickly to Houston. Back to McAllister. Up the wing to Housen, who's got a little bit of room to play. As I say, there's probably just going to be another corner here. It looks like he's well covered for the uh, for the cross. All right, get fired up. Ready to Adeloy. Oh, no, Adeloy can't get his head on it. Oh, look. <laughs> what is that slow slide? Did you see that? He's just like, whoop. I think Stewart here just slipped. And then tried to make it look like he was going for a tackle that didn't work out. I think he just slipped and embarrassed himself. All right, McKinney to McSwell. McSwell gets it way over to Patrick Redding. Redding centers it to Moffitt. Gets blocked. Houston still got it. Resets to McAllister. For Murdoch. As I say, Murdoch, he doesn't have to, like, shoot from a distance or anything like that. But it seems like it happens a lot. Probably just because the center medium fielders end up doing that. Free kick close to the net. What a curl! McAdams does get the block, which is really good. But it is going to be another corner. Do not like this. Like they're trying to retain possession. They're trying to slow things down, maybe. Whoa! No! 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 This is what I get for firing up the team. Hang on, let's let's rewatch that. What's amazing about this, and I mean that's pretty legit, because there's no there's no ball involved at all. It was right over here, I think. Is it is it Muirhead? So more right over here, I think it's Muirhead that does it. So look, the ball's way over. This guy gets tripped. Newell just gets tripped from behind by Muirhead. <sighs> All right. Well, we're not going to go defensive now. Okay, attacking mentality. Demand more. Oh, you guys are going to get yelled at so hard. Pause a sec here. Yeah, McSwell's feeling anxious. All right, it's okay. We're going to bring uh, we're gonna bring Finn in. Not as good on paper, but he's done some good things for us. In danger of getting booked. Wait. I'm sorry. Did we generate like a million yellow cards here? Hold on. Cancel changes. No. Maybe they've just been warned a few times? That must be it. I should probably tell my people to relax. Because I, I did fire them up. So that might be a bit of a thing. I really... I mean, your, your morale is really low and you're anxious, but... Oh boy, here I go yelling again. Fuck it. We gotta, we gotta do something. Bring that floppy. 
think it's just the two. I don't know if I want to... I think I still like this idea. Well, it could bring Chalmers in there. Not a terrible idea. And then Chalmers could always get moved up to one of the central midfielder positions after, and we could make some other adjustments over there. Now, I said Adelaide and Moffat still feel okay. They're not tired. Maybe it is a defensive failure. Let's just do the one. I mean, we'll, we'll end up doing all the subs. Well, oh, damn it, the interception there by Lowe. I think Adela had a really good chance of getting a nice little breakaway there. Gold over Stewart on the flanks. I mean, we have to crank up the aggression. There's no there's no other choice. Uh, Huston's looking bad. Focus, Finn, you got your chance. I think Huston's looking bad, is he? Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. It's not as good, as it? All right, let's bring uh, Dar O'Connor here. Okay. Think he knocks it way out. All right. Gets us some distance. Austin with the header to McAdams. Okay, good. You know, the other thing that might be the case is it's possible that our extensive marking um, of Austin here might be pulling us out of position slightly. Maybe everything bad started happening when I started doing that. On the other hand, if I didn't, maybe terrible things would happen. All right, Henderson resets to Little. Little sends it deep. Ah, uh, oh shit, it's gonna be another corner. I was really hoping McAdams would be able to get his hands on that. We have so many corners. All right, Mark Donnelly, sure. He has been involved in a lot of bullshit. One more aggressive play. 20 minutes left. One more substitution left to do. I'm off at the mirror head. Over to Redding. I'm really, really disappointed we're not winning here. Free kick. Oh, offside. Crying out loud. All right. You know what? Uh, I'm going to tell the team to focus. Stop making so many stupid mistakes. Maybe it's because I'm yelling at them too much, but deal with it. Connor. Okay. Generates a corner for us. All right. Start a sway plot on the ref. Mm-hmm. All right, focus, team. Focus! Chalmers to McForty, who completely whiffs the header. He had a good opening there on the left side of the net, too. That is actually very disappointing. All right. Time to plan. All right, we're going to pull out Adeloy here, who's anxious. We'll bring in McKenzie. Sure. You know what? Let's just do that. Confirm sub. And let's hope it's got what we need. And let's hope for a couple of last-minute goals. All right, final substitution. McKenzie in for Adeloy. O'Connor gets it to McAllister, who he has gotten a yellow now. Can't quite work it up the flank. Muirhead back to McAllister, who does have an opening to Daro O'Connor there now. Muirhead back to McForty. Then deep to Moffitt, who does not get control over it. We give up possession again. McGinty is able to get it secured to McAdams, though, so that's at least something. Adams looking for someone. Deep, deep, deep. Moffitt doesn't get the... Oh, there we go. O'Connor's got it. He's going to move it up the flank. Not sure he's got a passing angle. Might be able to generate a corner for us, though. Uh, he does go for the shot, Moff! Holy shit! How did that not go in? How did that not go in? Mo that was beautiful play. This Gaston, their, their goalkeeper has saved them so much. Oh, mackenzie has got it. Nope, it's an offside. 13 minutes left. Oh, come on. Okay, good. Oh, he, he does not need another uh, another booking here. Well, you'd be, you'd be sent off. Moffat sends it across. Can one of us pick it up? Okay, Redding's got it. He's got it centered back up. Now Henderson knocks it out, and we don't have anyone to pick it up there. That's really quite disappointing. Austin's running up the flank here. Still got a speed. Still got a stamina. Good thing we didn't shit talk too much before uh, before the match. 
they're they're ahead over here. Like they haven't had as many shots on, but their shots have been very scary. Yeah, no, their defense has been insane. Like their tackling was nuts from the start. Their goalkeeper is really good. Oh, did it go back? Did it cancel my mentality change? No. Go oh, very attacking. Never took the attacking before. Womp womp. Oh yeah, they did have the penalty, which gave them probably a lot of expected goals. That's true. That's true. We'd probably be ahead on expected goals, except for their penalty. Which is probably worth almost a solid one. In your head. Oh no! With an injury and a slide tackle, come on. Oh, and he's he's off! He's off, and we don't have another sub! Fucking, fucking fuck. Uh, because we can't, right? Yeah, no more substitutions. How do we just, um... How do we just remove you? How do I just... He gets auto removed. Okay. Well, I should do that then. What a shit game. Oi. This better not be a big long term injury. Yeah, there'll be a gap. Well, that's okay. I mean, he's one of the central midfielders. There's still one central midfielder. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. I'd still like us to get on the board. I still wanted the very attacking, but I guess the thing to do now is just be like, try not to be embarrassed. Let's go to a... Let's, let's sit more defensively. God damn it. That was incredibly disappointing. It might have been the sideline yelling. Now, note, as we discussed last stream, I almost never do the sideline shouts. Uh, but a lot of people in chat wanted me to do it. Maybe I overdid it. Maybe that caused people to play a little too chaotic. Yeah, we were way ahead, and I think right here was like the penalty, right? Way ahead on unexpected goals. We didn't score any. Two yellows and an injury. Throw a water bottle. Weren't good enough. I don't have the words to express how angry that makes me. Maybe there's... I, I really have to stop doing things just because it'll be more entertaining. <laughs> it was hard to resist the bottle throw, because I know how much you guys like that, but we should probably mellow out a little bit. We are getting a striker and a midfielder on loan. Now, if I was playing on my own, just for fun, the game would crash right around now. Oh, it'd be a disaster. Oh, so unfortunate the game crashed and I'd have to replay that game all over again. All right, um, I don't know if it matters which one of these two I use. I mean, we could go to the specialist. He'd come back a little sooner, but barely. Well. All right, let's send him to a specialist. Yeah, we got some extra transfer money.
Yeah, no, it was, uh... <laughs> Listen. You know what? You're right. I, uh... People, there's... <laughs> If some people feel there's a problem, then I'm happy to change my approach. Yeah, let's let's back down. Let's let's not be uh let's not throw bottles anymore. Alright, that talk was very productive. Alright, good. <laughs> Although I guess people are feeling emboldened about bringing the bullshit. You know what? I'm only gonna I'm gonna send the assistant for the press conference. I don't even want to talk to the press. Oi! Bad day at the office then? Yeah. Yep. Ah. All right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a different approach on the next one. The so next one's gonna be against Inverness away, uh, and an even stronger team. Like we 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 should have been we should have an edge on Arby's here, and we didn't have it, uh, which is a shame. There you go. Accepted loan offer. Great. Offer accepted. Great. All right. Got R beaten. So this is going to be an away game against a team that on paper is going to be stronger than the last one we played. Hooray! Uh, yeah, let's attend this meeting. I think Hewitt should do what? Do some corner practice? That sounds fine. Uh, automatically make unfit. No, we're going to skip this. Um, he's unhappy with the training. Well, he wants to do less strength training. Can I set that from here? Probably have to open up this page. Hey, what? All right. Oh, you don't actually have an additional focus. Well, screw you then. Moving on. Kenzie, uh, mentoring unit has a positive effect on him lately. Well, that's good. Yeah, Moffitt's past his peak. Well, fair enough, but... <sighs> Alright, now move on. Not gonna hire anyone else right now. Apparently we're gonna have to spend all our money on... Um, on... Uh, physio. Let's throw two water bottles next time. Alright, we promised the team we're not gonna throw water bottles anymore. We're also probably not gonna, like, shout from the sideline that they should try to, like aggressively tackle more. I mean, because the, um, like, encourage is fine, but we used another one. We used demand more. No, we used another one. And I knew when I hit it, it's like, right, that's the button that makes them, like, tackle dirty, right? All right, down to two or three months. Hopefully he bounces back fairly quickly. There we go. All right. Anthony Gomez Mancini. Midfielder replacement. I'm really happy we set up that loan, because apparently we're really going to need that. Holy crap. Can dodge a wrench, they can dodge a water bottle. Well, the focus was good. The focus was to counter what I did before. All right. Burnley's French central midfielder, uh, Anthony Gomez Mancini. Doesn't sound like much of a French name, but I guess that's just where he was born. Sure. Yeah. I mean, spoiler alert. Sometimes people are born in countries that are, are different from where their parents came from. I know. It's a weird, weird concept. Uh, is on loan, 11 months current contract, valuable to ask Moffat, be willing to welcome him. Yeah, yeah, let's ask Moffat to welcome him. Excellent, good. I mean, this is going to hurt some of the cohesion a little bit with new players, but honestly, we don't have a choice anyway. We do have a long break time for the next one. All right, we're going to attend a press conference about this. Let's kick this off. First question. Uh, how satisfying is it completed the signing? Uh, it's a good day for the club. Delighted him to have a real quality here. Although that implies I didn't have any quality before. Uh, you must be pleased to have secured him. Yes, I just said I was. I'm excited. I think the fans should be as well. Could he should be a different maker? I certainly hope so. Be confident he can produce when it matters in big games. Utmost confidence. Uh, what impact do you think the signing of him will have on the squad? Um, acquiring a top player can only have a positive impact. This deal leave you with too many options in central midfield? No. Do you remember one of our players just broke his goddamn leg? Not going to debate about that right now. Are you hoping to keep him here beyond the loan deal? Uh, there's no way we can afford him. Not looking that far ahead right now. I'll just dodge the question. Okay. Oh, my, hold on. My schedule. I didn't set up a training schedule this week because it is not very packed. Let's uh, make sure we're doing our community outreach. 
and our team bonding. That's going to be that much more important since we did just shuffle some new people in. Um, so a little bit of match tactics planning here. Good. Take a look at the calendar. Wait, when's our next match? Oh shit, it's not for a while. Wow! Put in some more extracurriculars over here. Okay. Is there something we were sort of missing out on? Oh. Well, let's practice defending corners. Maybe also taking corners. There we go. All right. Oh, so salty. I guess we're only getting two matches today. We did have a lot of little prep work. We should have a striker coming to us as well, shouldn't we? Did I misread the messages? Did they say no to that? Maybe they're still mulling it over. Let's take a look at our tactic screen over here. Obviously, Muirhead is out. Let me just uh, remove that position completely. So Murdoch will get moved over here. And then Mancini will go over here. So what's a Mez? Modern interpretation of the Mez Mezzala is a central player who likes to drift wide and operate in the half spaces. Mezzala is essentially a central slash half winger. Likes to do his defending slightly further upfield, but does generally have less defending responsibility. Is that what we want, or do we even want to use him as a playmaker or something like that? Yeah, we'll, I think we'll just play him as the box-to-box, -box, which he's fine with. I mean, yeah, he's going to be very good at. Oh, we tweaked this training schedule because there was a timing change. Sure, fine. Wait, what is this match against the Wraith Rovers? Oh, that's... Okay, that's much later. Although, yeah, we're going to be playing on a Wednesday and a Saturday. That is... Uh, that was a little rough. Here, we're going to throw in some more... Um, corner practice. Especially since our tactic is... Um, tries to generate... Um, corners or set pieces, so we really do have to practice to actually execute those. We'll throw in some more. Metal music certainly captures a sense of frustration. Maybe we should do some uh, some lo-fi beats. Maybe that'll be better. You know what? That's what was going wrong. We just, our music was wrong. Let's go for some, um, well, there's chill. We can do chip tunes. Ambient. You know what? Let's go with some chip tunes. Okay. Oh my god. Sock held! Sustained a pulled thigh after turning awkwardly during training. Yeah, no, we'll just we'll just do it right with the physio. Alright. The injury risk does go a little higher with the training session. Now, a lot of these are still sort of lower intensity. Like, we don't have, um, if we take a look at our training schedule, the intensity level is never super high as much as possible. But but maybe, maybe it, maybe it is too much. Here, we're gonna criticize his uh, training performance. There you go, good, perfect. Do that as often as we can. Chiptune sounds like it'll lead to happy vibes. Maybe! Maybe that's all we needed, you know? Let me just change.
Mm, beta plane, you can always check the wet game. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Recovery, match tactics. We do have a we do have a lot of leagues being simulated. Well, not that many. Well, okay, I have the top league of every European nation simulated, so it does take a little while. Training schedule. Uh huh. All right. Inverness, third rated team. Oh, this is gonna go so well, you guys. But at least it feels like the pressure is gonna be off. Uh, just give me the uh, the meeting in uh, in my inbox. There you go, Thompson, Max Thompson. Gonna make the move over here on loan. Uh, winger? Did we look for a winger? Oh, it's because he... No, he can also play as a striker. Yeah, we'll bring him in. A little bit of fresh blood. All right, here, please welcome him. Thanks. Cheers. All right. If there's another press conference about this guy, I'll just have my assistant manager do it. Because it wasn't terribly exciting. Last one. There you go. To be unveiled. Um, well, apparently there's not the button to just foist this one off. All right. Going to be more dumb questions. Is there likely to be a change in the style of football he plays as a result of him? Well, I mean, if we loaned out another another attacking midfielder, we could actually change things. But, um, you know, we're always looking for ways to change for the better. Um, how do you deal with the inevitable competition playing time between Max Thompson and Michael Moffat? You know what? Yeah, no, it, they're, they're going to coexist. They're going to be fine. We find it easy to join squad social groups. Honestly, I, I don't know. You know what? We got a bunch of lads I'm sure we'll welcome with open arms. Does the role Max Thompson favors most fit your current tactical approach? Well, we're going to play him as a striker, so it's going to be fine. He'll fit like a glove. Does he have the capacity to perform in different roles? He does, although we'll probably only play him as a striker. Uh, he's a quality player. Whatever. There. All right, let's hope our set piece tactics are gonna pay off here. Mm -hmm. Ask them dumb questions. Do, 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 do. All right. Couple inbox messages, gonna change things up. That's not what I said. All right. This is going to be a tough one. Stronger team, away. See, if we lost this one, 2-0, I wouldn't feel as much. But the last one, that was an important one for us to win. And the fact that we didn't was really disheartening. I like those underdog challenges, yeah. I mean, it's not going to be easy. Our goal here is just to not be relegated. Ideally, by not even getting into the relegation clash. But we'll see. Yeah, we're going to send the assistant to this press conference. Listen, Tommy, you need to train better. Thanks. Okay. Our goal is to goal more than the other team goals. Exactly. Yeah, making corner strats is really annoying. And the fact that it, it sort of tweaks itself. All right, set the opposition. Positive, no, I don't even want to be on positive. What, what tactic am I using? Hang on. I want to be using our more defensive tactic, please. Thank you. Um, so Max Thompson over here. Oh yeah, he's, he's not actually god tier when it comes to uh, the strike ridge as much as I would like, perhaps. But um, and some lacking sharpness. So we got to play these guys a little bit more. Morale's not fantastic. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that I looked like absolutely savage them in the <laughs> in the dressing room after the game <laughs> by yelling. Uh, supporting teammates agrees with decisions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, settled status. Not treated as a foreign player. Okay. Reacted well. All right. Um, we might not want to start him. I don't know. I'm kind of inclined to though. I guess we could char start Joe, and we could summon Man Manzini a little later on as a way for him to build up a little bit more sharpness. I think I kind of like that idea. Uh, there. 
do. I actually have a decent number of games. Light, 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 heavy. Bring Thompson instead of McKenzie and see how that feels for us. Let the fans see the new players. Yeah. All right. So yeah, these guys need uh, some numbers. Eight and twelve. Sh sure. I don't. I don't think there's any. I don't, I don't think I want to give eighteen. Oh, eighteen's already Joe Chalmers. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, done. All right. Listen. Yeah, exactly. The pressure's all on them. You know, keep my hands in my pockets, a little sheepish. Pressure's all on them. What do you have to lose? Go out there, cause an upset. We get some nerves. Ooh, no one really responded to anything. That's a, that's unfortunate. That's, go out and make a difference. Usually that does okay. Yeah, all right. Not, not a whole lot of response from the players today, unfortunately. All right, so we are away, but we are in our uh, white and black stripes. Our home sort of home colors, but I guess there's enough of a contrast? I don't know. Interesting. All right. Let's get in on this. So, they started with possession. We got Broadfoot. They're playing uh, back and forth here a little bit. A little, little, not too eager about making the run forward. There we go. Diaz finds a big gap, moves it well forward, moves it up to Walsh, who's able to move up on the fringe. We've got him a little bit covered, but I was going to say, he's got someone he can send it back to. He's not going to be forced to, like... We're not going to force him to generate a corner. McGregor tries to take a shot. It looks like it's deflected away. I don't know who was hugging Allardyce there, but it worked out. Whoa! Oh, see that? that? No, that's Adeloy. That is not one of our new strikers. Moffat passes it sideways to Adeloy, and Adeloy... Well, either Moffat misjudged the pass, but I'm giving him credit because he's sort of our more established player. So I, I feel like Adeloy was simply out of position there. That doesn't bode well for things. That's well with the throw in near our end. We still got to move it a lot. Chalmers tries to move it up uh, by the uh, sidelines, but is gets squeezed out quickly. They're all over Joe Chalmers here. It's well sends it far forward to absolutely no one on our side. Excellent, wonderful, lovely. Oh, everything's going just well here, you guys. Walsh always oh, able to send it to Pocatino. Ooh, someone deflected it out, which is really good. And then Houston cleared it a little bit more as well. We still don't have possession. This is only two and a half minutes into this? Oh, my heart's not going to be able to take this, you guys. This is going to be terrible. Oh, Carson to Allardyce. Or maybe it's Aladice. Carson, he's going to have a corner out of this. Hopefully our set-piece defensive practice is going to pay off over here. Gardine Dean takes the corner, sends it quite far. D two players here absolutely uncovered. Allardice and Broadfoot over here completely alone. The corner was sent perfectly to them. They had all the time in the world to calculate the angles. We practiced defending these. Come on. Three minutes in, we're down by a point. Put a fresh case of water bottles in your chair and dressing room just in case. Oh, what a terrible start to the season. On the bright side, nowhere to go but up. Houston just basically gives the ball away here. Again, Inverness is a much stronger team than us. We don't expect to win. We were just hoping not to be absolutely embarrassed. Walsh sends it back to Carson. We can't We can't get in there. We can barely go, run up to them by the time they've already like dealt to the ball. Carson sends it up. It's going to be another corner. Oh, good. I should default corner tactics with that well. Yeah, it's such a pain in the ass to change them. I just always have to hope that like... On, on balance, we're even up with the what the AI has. Adeloy, the big run-up. Oh! Is able to thread the ball to Moffat as long as it's not offside. No, the... Uh, Moffat just sort of sits there. He stopped with the ball for a moment without shooting, allowing the defender to get up in front of him and block things. So it was the best opportunity so far. McFordy clears it from the box. Although Diaz has still got it. We got some whiskey and chocolate coming in. Is it is it to fund more water bottles? I don't grasshoppers watch football. They prefer cricket. Thank you very much, Wyme. Thank you. I needed that right now. God, what a, what a terrible, awful, stressful stream. Moffat stopped to eat some curds and whey. <laughs> oh, yes, they're setting up for McGregor with 
just an absolute like rocket from outside the box but we gave them the space to do that you know what might be the problem maybe changing to a box-to-box -box midfielder has um has opened up too much of a gap defensively all right we're gonna we're gonna go with a completely new strategy for for the next stream we're gonna have to do something like different Again, we expect to lose against Inverness. That's not the question. But we didn't want to be embarrassed, which is what's happening. Yeah, changes need to happen. Mm -hmm. All right. Free kick. The header. Oh, McAdams just clutches it there. That was definitely going in. That was below the crossbar for sure. Also throwing. Diaz. We're just able to pick it up. And Inverness is going to be able to start an offense. Mm-hmm. Well, now I kind of wish that I hadn't uh, dropped Bradley, because he would have been an attack midfielder. Although, um, even with the loan now, like, now we have another attacking midfielder, but we would only had two. That's not really enough to base a strategy around. Maybe some of our other players would be flexible enough to play in some of those positions. Hey, Banana, thank you very much. What do you do when the soccer field is flooded? You send in your subs! Uh, do, 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 do. Only higher strikers. Was it, uh, was it what, like the FM 17, 18 match engine where you go like triple strikers and just like obliterate the game because the match engine didn't know how to deal with it? I think so. There's definitely a time where sh shit like that happened. All right, Redding centers it to Moffat. There's a wall of blue between him and the net. We're forced way back. And he centers it again to Murdoch. Chalmers to Moffat. Oh, Adeloy's got a little bit of a window. Boots it from outside the box, and it goes well above. I mean, I don't think we can do the work. I don't think we can do the work into the box thing. Whoa! Um, just because uh, that's going to be another corner. Jesus. Uh, just because I don't think we get enough shots. Dine. Houston clears it quite far. Wallace is able to retain possession. Who's this trying to run up to them? That, that Moffat. Pressing forward. Pino. Heads it to McAdams, who does make the save. We've at least stabilized. The first 10 minutes, though, was just, like, tragic. Chalmers sends it quite far. Fortunately, the header goes too high again. All right. We're just a broad foot. Restarting the offense. Can we get someone in there? Get in Carson's face. Pino, he's got a couple of dudes on him, but no one's going for a tackle. the fans cheering on every pass here. They're not the most uh, dramatic passes. Lots of lots of fans out there T-posing to show their dominance. Oh, Chalmers! Oh, with the interception. Beautiful. Can he can he move it forward? Okay, sends it back to Murdoch. Sideways to Houston. Back to McAllister. Moffat's got a little bit of space. Uh, Houston's not going to be able to pass to him, though. Back to Murdoch. McAllister. Make 40. Sends it far forward. Adeloy, if he's not offside, there's a chance. Oh, it gets blocked. Turns out it wasn't offside though. That was that one might have been our best opportunity of the match. Gardine here with another corner for Inverness. Does get knocked out. That's good to see. This uh, Pochettino guy is so fast. Always on the ball. Walsh to Aladise. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I won't get angry at them when they expect to lose. That's going to be different. And most of the bottle throw last time was just for the memes, which was probably a bad idea. Because uh, it's probably going to have lasting repercussions to morale and things like that. But I, had, I did have to do it one more time for the memes. I mean, if we can... I said at the beginning, if we could hold them to a 2-0, like last game, I'd be happy. I hated that it happened so fast. Now it's going to be a miracle if we hold them to just 2-0. Alright, we got a free kick. Good, good, good. 40. Dumps it deep. Just clears that out of our end. Inverness is able to start another offense. Wallace can easily get it up to Gardine. Back to McGregor. Centers it to Walsh. McKay. He doesn't really have an angle on net, though. Bocchini back to Carson. That looks dangerous. Gets knocked away, and then Redding clears it. All right. Gives us a little bit of safety. Ooh, we got a free kick here. McGinty just sends it. What was that? What's McGinty trying to do there? Oh, McForty! Beautiful heading interception there. 
Adeloy's got it. Sends it back to Chalmers. The Moffat. <gasps> Threads it to Chalmers. That might be an offside, though. I don't know. He gets the shot off. Oh, and it's not even a freaking corner. God damn it. That looked so nice. We are starting to get maybe some opportunities. What's our expected goal still? That's at a one. Wait. So they have two goals, even though they're expected is 0.5. Did they just get lucky? Yeah, we've had two amazing chances. You know, despite what the current scoreboard is, maybe 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 things aren't going quite as bad as they, they seemed. If finishing is an issue, yeah. Well, I mean, sort of. Oh! McAdams a deflection is going to be another freaking corner, though. McAdams, great save there, though. Oh, boy. I like people that know how to complete the attacks. Yeah. We'll have to take a... Take a survey of what our finishing condition is. You know, if we just have, like, only one good finisher, then maybe we move to a one striker and, and work with a target man, a couple of attack midfielders. Could be something like that. The problem is we have, we have like, a, a big pool of strikers, which is why I'm going with a two-striker composition. Right? Which is one of the reasons... And when we didn't... On the people who we actually have contracted to us, we don't really have attacking midfielders. Uh, which is why the 4-4-2 was such a natural pick for us. Okay, we did generate a corner there. Is it going to result in something? All right, Chalmers. Sometimes make 40. Oh! Okay, that's the second time we've seen this. Where Moffat is just not quite in position for the follow-up on the first header. I wonder if that's something we can adjust. Damn it. Yeah, goal before halftime would be insanely cool. Nice curl from uh, Chalmers' free kick there, but it was way too high. Our expected goal is, keeps going up. It's now over one. Yeah, I really, I really can't be disappointed with our squad here. Because I, what I was expecting is they to be well ahead in expected goals, but you know, hopefully we we just hold them back to a smaller number. Huh. What is it with your players refusing to score, right? Oh, Chalmers clears it. God, Joe Chalmers, so good. Adeloy, big push up. Moffat is ahead. Adeloy's going to keep going. Oh, nice tackle. But Housen is there to pick up the tackle. Is he going to be able to get it centered up? Here comes the cross attempt. It is going to be a corner. It's extra time right before halftime. Come on. Get on the board. Get on the board. Chalmers. Oh, no, it gets deflected out, but McAllister keeps up possession. Chalmers got another opportunity to center it up. Make 40 for a distance! Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy right now! Oh! Oh, make 40! The Norwegian central defender is able to get us on the board. Oh, man. We are going to buy him a Scottish beer and some fermented fish. Right. Okay. I mean, we're a long way from being able to pull out a draw here. Well, what do they say? Do they say about a, a foot soccer ball, a two nothing lead is the most dangerous lead in football, something like that. Could it be? Yeah. I'm. You know what? I'm thrilled with the number of shots we've taken. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna uh, pump fists. Oh, apparently I can't do that. Outstretched arms. Yes. In praise. I'm thrilled the number of shots taken. Yes! Inspired and motivated. I got this! I think we're going to stay with our, 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 our setup. We're still going to go cautious. We're just looking for those counter-attack possibilities. You know, hoping they can overextend themselves. Adelaide's all alone in big sea of blue. Oh! Oh! Oh, and it's a caution. It's a yellow. So we get a free kick, but no highlight. So I guess it didn't lead anywhere. Come on. Come on. Come on! They got a free kick from an odd angle here. I don't like this. Okay, it goes over. Goal kick for us. Excellent. All right. And we're on the offense again. Adam sends it deep. Rod foot does get it, and we don't... Not able to steal it. No, Moffat intercepts. Adeloy can send it forward. Moffat's got the run up. He's got a bit of an angle. No, he's going to be forced to try to center it. May oh, Houston. To Adeloy with the header. Oh, right into Richard's hands. 
It was a good attempt, good attempt, good attempt. Would have been happy if we generated a corner somewhere along the way. It didn't happen, but what are you going to do? Let's take a look at our uh, our situation here. Okay, see, this I don't want. Danger of losing discipline, danger of getting booked. This is what we were having last time. First of all, we're going to we're gonna tell people, uh, calm down or focus. I don't want them. First of all, I don't want you to get injured by anything. Uh, you know what? McGinty's apparently having a poor game. Point four. He is inspired. He's actually not tired, but he's having a poor game. And the performance is a little scary. Maybe we can deal with it with a shout. Focus? Let's try focus. Let's see. Well, let's focus and then see what happens. All right. Or I could have told my defenders to calm down. McAdams. Oh, oh my God. I'm so happy. Was it a handball? What happened? Because he does this, and then I was really afraid there was going to be a rebound. McGinty, I can't say. Oh, did he get stripped up? What the fuck? Is it click and hold? No one touched McKay. Look, no one touched McKay. He just falls down on his own. Seem to shove him. McKinsey seems to have shoved McKay. Can I throw a water bottle at the referee? If... Miss, 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 miss! McAdams! 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 Okay, 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 okay. We're still in this. Although I don't like this. Okay, now it goes way off. All right. Jesus. All right, he's gonna send it deep. Alloy does get the header. Oh, it goes to Aller Dice. We're not able to deny it. Gardine sends it forward. No! Walsh got a good angle. No, he sends it way too high. Oh, yeah. Their expected goal just went up like crazy because of the penalty. So it's not real expected goals. And they fucked it up. Oh, my God. Redding almost with a uh, goal there. That would have been nice. Okay. Let's take a look at what people are doing. Yeah, so overwhelmed by feedback. Overwhelmed by feedback? I told them to focus, and they're like, man, I, I don't know how to deal with that. And McGinty's uh, rating keeps going down and down. And theoretically, he's the one... See, he, McGinty's the one that caused that penalty. All right, let's bring in Jack Baird over here. Um, maybe, maybe we sub Patrick as well? Oh, we don't really have a good sub for you over there on the left wing. Well, maybe we could, uh, we could bring McSwell up. That works. And then... Um, oh no, we really are, uh... Chalmers? And then over here, Patrick, we can bring in Mancini. Excellent. Who's nervous? Listen. Uh, go out there and play without any pressure, except I really have a lot of pressure on you, but yeah, just try not to be as nervous. Probably shouldn't tell inspired people to focus, maybe. So I, it should have been, I should have done a targeted calm down. For the people at danger of being booked, I should have done an individual calm down talk to those people. All right, McAllister, Mixwell, whoa, that is quite the bounce, like a pinball. Moffat, he gets it to Adloy. Nice little transfer there, but unfortunately it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Oh, shit. That was looking a little scary for a bit. I'm like, why isn't anyone reacting? But they read the ball correctly. That it wasn't going anywhere. Okay, there's a substitute. Let's take a um, quick little look here. Okay, no one's in danger of being booked. That's good. People having good games. We'll see. Maxwell back to Chalmers. Chalmers sends it deep to Adeloy, but he loses it to Broadfoot, who wins those header battles a lot. 
Murdoch can make 40. Back to Murdoch. Sends that to Moffat, who's surrounded by blue. He's got to send it back to McAllister. We got a we got a wing available there. I'm surprised it didn't sort of get past that way. Sure, that's fine. There's Mancini with maybe his first touch of the uh, the game here. Make 40 and Murdoch. Back to make 40. I mean, we may have to switch to a more aggressive play here. We're down by one anyway. Oh, Adeloy. Oh, is it an offside? Come on! These refs! The amount of horse shit from these referees today. All right. 40, he's got lots of people. To Baird. Mancini, who's surrounded. He's got to get rid of this quickly. There we go. Over to Baird. Yeah, forced to reset back to McAllister. There's just too many defenders there piling on. But if they're clumping up, it might lead to, to an opening somewhere else. Callister finds Moffat. Has to reset to Houston, who's able to run it up the flank a little bit. Bad angle, but maybe. There we go. Corner, 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 corner. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to yell, ignore the manager to the players. <laughs> All right. Chalmers. Yes, sends it out. McAllister's going to be able to keep up the pressure, though. Love to see that. 20 minutes left to go. Chalmers sensors is up. Ooh, nothing, but we are going to be able... Oh, Chalmers is offside. Come on. What? This referee, man. Oh, we got whiskey and chocolate. Hang on. Big, there's a big move here. Uh, Isaiah Dejaz, thank you very much. Hey, Quill. Four years ago, I got some six, found your tutorial on how to play it. Back then, strategy games weren't my thing, but you really got me into them. Thank you for that. And for loads of high quality content, keep this up. And greetings from Lithuania. Oh, cool. Hey, thank you very much. Um, Isaiah? I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure how you want your name parsed, so my bad on that, but thank you very, very much. I'm so tense in this play. Because there's a there's an opportunity here, and I go what, until I unpause. There's always this like, um, uh, Schrodinger's score. There's a Schrodinger's goal that can happen here. But once we unpause and we observe it, then we'll know. God, I'm so tense. We might go to more aggro thing in the last ten minutes here, and maybe another sub. Let's see how this play develops. All right, Murdoch sending it to Adeloy. Adeloy does pick it up. He's blocked from the goal though. Gets it to McSwell, Mancini, Moffat. Tries to boot it into someone. That's not even going to generate a corner. Luckily, we retain possession. Alloy back to Moffat. Ooh, Houston's got a little bit of window. Okay, no strategy change. We are very happy to play for the draw here. If we come out of this away game against a much, much stronger team with a point from the draw, after we give up an utterly bullshit penalty, <sighs> All right, McFord is anxious but having a good game. Yeah, his rating is actually pretty good. 15 minutes left. I don't know if there's anything I necessarily want to sub in. Houston's doing okay. We could put in Thompson. I don't think I make a change right now. All right. I'm so goddamn tense. Yes. Aladechi. Broadfoot. Yes. Broadfoot. I don't know how tall Broadfoot is. He must have insane heading stats. Nah, it's not the time. It's not the time. Pochettino. Back to Carson. Ooh, sends it up to Walsh. Intercepted by Joe Chalmers, who just clears the ball out of our half. No, that's that's absolutely right. There was too many opponents over there. If we'd given up the ball again, it could have been really bad. Just get it out. Force them to restart their offensive. Adichie, who's playing on the opposite side of where he was a second ago. Back to McGregor. No, Moffitt with the steal! Oh my god, he's got a long way to go, and he is, you know, you go slower at the ball. Oh, come on! Where's the referee calling some of those tackles? All right, we didn't get tripped up or anything, but come on. Oh shit, Walsh to Gardine on the flanks. Sends it back to McGregor. Back to Gardine. Tyler Diche gets it up to Walsh. They're getting closer and closer. Oh no! Okay. That I thought was going in. McAdam it, it came in too hard and too fast for McAdams to be able to uh, hold on to the ball, unfortunately. Uh, but what a save. What a save. What a save. Unfortunate that it led to a corner. Unfortunate that it led to a corner. Gardine. Chalmers clears it. Okay, they're going to be able to restart their offensive. But the immediate threat is gone. Okay, it's going to be another corner, though. Oh, no, it's not a 
corner. It's a throw in. Really? Interesting. Okay. Oh, Mancini clears it. Happy we picked them up. Pocatino, that is going to be a corner now. Come on. I, I can't deal with another, like, maybe 15 minutes of this. Gardein! Okay, McFord actually just boots it out. And be a throw in for Inverness. Walsh has got it on the flank. He's going to try to corner it up. Ooh! Deflected. Not a corner. Oh, and Chalmers! Chalmers is always there! He intercepts so many things! And Moffat's been having a great game as well. Doesn't move it up. He holds it up until Houston comes by. Bit of a reset over here. Again, that could be one of those uh, embarrassing own goal videos. Adeloy, okay, we might have to change something here. We maybe we should be dumping it to the flanks. I don't want to make a tactical change now. It'll just confuse my players. But conceptually, maybe we need to... Because um, we got direct passing, so they're going to try to throw it pretty far in um, overall. But we might have wanted to tell them uh, the in position, like to you know work work on on the sides as opposed to the middle. Since that that high ball to the middle, we keep losing out on the header battle. But I'm not going to make a tactical change now. Okay, Pochettino going up the flank again. Player number 18. Whoop, Mick Forty heads it off. Look, there wasn't a lot of threat there. We had good coverage of uh, the enemy. Oh, Mick Adams sends it out. He has to go out of the net there to knock it out. Maybe once one of those like fist kind of plays. Men's no, come on. That is bullshit. He didn't touch him. All right, maybe the three D render of it. But no, that's that. Oh, fucking hell! Hits the crossbar. Hits the crossbar. They got a free kick. They're starting the offense again. Baird knocks it out. Oh, beautiful, beautiful header to Housen, who's able to move it up, giving us a button for breathing room. Sends it up to Moffat. Moffat's pretty surrounded. He's going to have a hard time getting out of here. Gets it to Murdoch. Up to Houston. Ooh, there's someone right on him. Houston holds on. Ah, freaking offside. Come on. Okay, we only got a few minutes left. Let's do another sub. Okay, Michael Moffat is having a great game. But he's tired. He's had to carry a lot of the team on his back over here. We're going to sub him out. We'll bring in Thompson. Give him a little bit of a, a try here. A little bit of a gameplay experience. <sighs> sub a striker to make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, like, Moffat, this is one of those where, like, you know, the substitution, sometimes the substitution is, like, an indictment of their performance. But sometimes when a player gets substituted out, that's when, like, you know, the fans just give him, like, the, the standing applause and things like that for the performance during the game. That would definitely be the case here. Holy crap. It's a shame that he's 36 years old and he's uh, going to be retiring probably soon. Because what a player. Michael Moffat. All right. Murdoch, the Mick 40. Looks, okay, substitution has happened. All right. Back to Murdoch. Up to Thompson. There you go. First touch of the game. Gets it over to Houston. Back to McAllister. Again, if it ends 2-2, we're fine with it. But God, we've had some good opportunities. Is our expected goal question? Do we think the expected goal... Well, some of you probably just saw it on the pause screen, uh, but I didn't notice it. Do we think our expected goal is higher than theirs, despite the fact that they got a huge boost to it because of the penalty? Not quite, but look, 1.35 is a stunning total. Stunning total. <clears throat> All right, back to Thompson, who's got a little bit of room to play. He's actually moving up the flank. Oh, slips it over to Housen, who's got a great cross opportunity. Mancini with the header. Oh, Ridgers has to launch. Honestly, I'm not even sure it would have necessarily made it in the far side over here. It might have just hit the uh, post. But God, what a beautiful play. McAllister, Mick 40, resets the goalkeeper. Four minutes left in regulation. Oh, bit of a, a failed passing move there. That was just, hang on. That was an absolute flub play on like three different levels and so disappointing. Wasn't quite this far back. Calston McForty, where did it happen? That's so disappointing. See Mancini, he's, he's just having to kind of boot it. And then we just give it to McKay here, or not to McKay, to Gardine. And then no one's covering Walsh properly. He was able to beat it. Of course their breakaway scores when none of ours do, yeah. Winner. Oh, that is. Well, you know what? I mean, we got it. We got to try to score quickly in the last minute here. We're gonna go to our uh, positive mentality, and specifically, we'll set it to attacking as well. I mean, we we gotta we gotta make an attempt. Um, just gonna encourage the team. 
can still get this. We can still get this. Look at my hair. Look at my hair. This is what this does to me. Ah! It's gonna start pulling it out. Goalkeeper just booted the ball forward without meaning pressure. Is his fault? Maybe. Free kick. Adelaide offside. Adelaide's had so many fucking offsides. Now, that's possibly because of trying. We don't know. Callister, yeah, he has to boot it out for safety. He had no choice there. Okay, four extra minutes. So we got five minutes total of gameplay. Possibly a little bit more, depending on how many stoppages there are after this. Garnon holds it up for a second. Goal kick. All right. Can't flood that play. Yeah, it might have been the goalkeeper problem there. That's true. And then, yeah. All right, Baird. Probably looking for a direct pass. No, sends it back to Chalmers. Oh, they're able to weave it up the sidelines. Mixwell sends it deep and forward. Thompson can't get there. I don't think he ever had any real hope. I can say that's on Thompson here. Two defenders nearly knock into each other for that ball. Mancini Mixwell. Back to Chalmers. Sends it forward. Adeloy. Don't be offside this time. Okay, we get a corner out of it. I'm surprised the goalkeeper wasn't able to get up faster and pick that up. We've got a corner. Three minutes left. Chalmers. Puts it to McForty. Oh, doesn't get his head on it. In the countdown, they've got possession. The timer's about to hit. All right, listen, the first match was just disappointing from start to finish. This second one, even with a loss, who knows, maybe, maybe there's another time. I mean, we're past the four minute mark. Adeloy. He weaves around. Come on, where's the penalty kick? Come on, make swell. Swell off something. Even with the loss, I'm not disappointed by this game, but what a roller coaster of emotion this has been. What a roller coaster of emotion. I gotta say, this referee, like, in this press conference, if they ask me about, like, questionable, um, um, refereeing, officiating, I might not be able to bite my tongue this time. You know, I promise to be nicer to my players. That doesn't mean I won't savage a ref. Fucking penalties. What is this? Ra -da 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 -da. All right, Jordan Houston with the best performance. You did yourself proud today. It's all I asked for. I mean, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. You guys absolutely did yourself proud today. I know you lost. And here's the thing. I always never praise the players. Fuck it. I'm gonna praise them. Although. McGinty might be the one who gets like confused. No, you sucked. Maybe I should do. Maybe I shouldn't do it globally. But yeah, look at these performances: seven four, seven four, seven three, seven three. No, half the players did really bad. Yeah, he's furious. I don't know if I can address the entire room like that. I'm not angry. Sometimes the results don't go your way, but I'm very happy with the performance regardless. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yes. All right. Excellent. We win the mini game. All right. Awaiting media reaction. Makes professional debut. Oh, really? It was his first actual professional match altogether. All right. Post match conference. I got some shit to say. <clears throat> Once again, a late goal has ruined your day. How will that moment affect the team? You know what? I think we'll be fine. There was a lot I was pleased with of that performance. Yeah, I wasn't disappointed with the performance. We deserved more. I don't know if we deserved more, but no, I'm gonna say, I think we'll be fine. A lot to be pleased with that performance. Was Inverness's late goal deserved? Oh, yeah, played them. I, well, I don't know if that's accurate. Deserve something from the match. Well, you know what? I think this. I thought we deserved something from the match. That late goal was a sucker punch. That's true. I think we, for everything that happened in there, I think we deserved um, a point in the end for a, a, a draw. So, yeah. McForty's goal, an accurate finish from 19 meters, one of the highlights of the match. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, yeah, it was... Uh, He's got it in his locker. Are we baiting for something like that? Oh, I guess it's just he's he's got potential for things like that. Yeah, sure. Tommy Adeloy had a pretty torrid time in front of the goal, didn't he? 
Yeah. You know what? He's got some work to do. We can't afford for him to miss as many chances as he did today. I'm sorry, Tommy, but it's true. And if you turn into a little punk about it, I think you're on loan. So I don't really care too much. It's one of the two A strikers that's on loan. There were groans around the ground today at Nick McAllister's display. Why did you persist with him amidst calls for him to be replaced? Is it that bad? Be nice if it like referenced his rating here. Oh, we're over here. 6.37. I mean, I could because I only have so many fucking substitutions is the answer. You know, I saw heart, passion, desire every second he was on the field. Those attributes always make a tough to substitute player. Sure. Was it unfortunate to come up against Michael Gardine in that sort of form today? Well, I mean, yeah, he had nearly an 8 rating. He was crazy. I was hoping he'd spare us that performance. It goes without saying the quality he has, which was on full display today. I mean, you know, you got to give him credit for that. I slammed Adeloy? I mean, I guess a little bit, yeah. Nah, he is the one that's actually on contract with us. <laughs> well, you know what? Sometimes that's the way it goes. Oh, the Inverness champion thought they deserved even more. I claim the team's late goal was entirely undeserved. That's not what I said! I said we deserved more. That's not the same. Oh, goddamn media. British press, man. They will just twist everything. Fake news, exactly. Fake news. <sighs> Overall, though, I think we should be using the conscious, like, and counterplay a lot more. That wasn't really all that terrible. We all have to give some thought as to some other thing that might be possible to do. You know, we've got this one which might be a possibility. And the other thing I, I do wonder is if there's, you know, support for something like this, which actually I shouldn't be doing because I'm breaking my strategy. But there's not really a, there's not really a scratch pad you can play with. I guess you can save your strategy and restore it. But the problem with this, like, so we got Max Thompson, who can definitely play over here on the right wing, but I'm not sure we've got anyone who can play on the left. Yeah, we really don't. And that's, that's sort of one of our, our issues here. Don't forget to change the tactic off a of goal kick so you can send it down the sides instead of center. Well, here's the thing. That, I mean, that was specific there. The question is, do we always want that? Yeah, goalkeeper in possession. Do we distribute to the flanks? I think the answer might have to be yes. I think we do want the goalkeeper to distribute to the flanks more than down the middle. I mean, we're gonna have we have wingers and fullbacks. We could even just distribute it to the fullbacks. But I think I like the flanks. It's still a little bit more direct, right? Because the fullbacks are fairly close up. This does still contribute to our whole idea of um, fairly rapid, like, direct counterplay. Um, if we do it to the, like, the flanks, i.e. I, the wingers, as opposed to the fullbacks specifically. Um, and that, yeah, I think I was going to say that cancels out, or rules out, roll it out, which is fine. Um... As I say, we want distribute quickly, because that was already on. And I think we're going to try the same thing over here in uh, transition. We're going to go distribute to the flanks on both cases, if possible. Maybe even more on the positive play, since we do have the attackers. Uh, you want to check the heading statistics of one long defenders you're playing against. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I don't know how critical it is, but one of the things is with Adeloy here. His jumping reach is only an eight. His heading, his so his sort of accuracy with heading isn't bad. Although, yeah, the finishing, and that's the problem. Our finishing... Adeloy shouldn't be our attacking forward. I think he had decent potential for it. But his finishing's really not there. Let's take a look at our squad. I think playing him there, I think that's part of our problem. Um, if, uh, is it technical? Finishing? Yeah. We sort by finishing. Moffat, Mancini, McKenzie. Yeah, I think. 
So for whatever reason, I picked uh, Mackenzie to be someone we'd focus on to become the uh, another pressing forward. I think because he had decent aggression, but I think we're gonna change it up. Like he's naturally a little bit better at pressing forward than advance forward, which is interesting. Why is that? Maybe the lack of anticipation? See how much lower he is in advance forward than pressing forward? But he at least has two digit finishing. I know he has low passing, but I would think that that's like equally important for both. I don't know. It's interesting that despite... What? That's interesting. Target forward is not a passing role? Really? Transform another team, good one. Sheer physicality, disrupt the opposition defense, open space for a striker partner. That's what I was thought, right? The idea is, like, the midfield or whatever tries to get it to your target man, who then redistributes it to your final attacking forward. So you would think that to be a target forward, you'd need a good passing trait. But maybe because it's a short, you know, little one-two kind of vibe. I think Mackenzie, you can see he's got huge potential, but maybe he's just not there yet. But that's sort of true of all of our strikers, right? Outside of Michael Moffat, who at 36 isn't going to be around in our game too long. Mancini is not comfortable playing as a striker. Yeah, then we got, you know, we're down to Adeloy over here, who doesn't even have, like, a rocking high potential. Yeah, our striker situation's not great. Target equals final player? But if you, again, check the description, right? Of the target forward. Disrupt an open space for a striker partner and supporting midfielders. You know what I mean? But. But yeah, our team lacks finishing. Yeah, maybe we can focus Adeloy's training on finishing. I mean, he's only one behind McKenzie. Uh, I guess that would be shooting. Finishing long shots technique. Yeah. Because it's not like he can do any other role. I think that's mostly what it came down to. A lot of composure is gonna panic and take shit shots because of a lack of composure, although it's on its way up. Hmm. Maybe there's a change coming there. And Sockheld's the um the other player who it's look at its potential. Four and a half stars over here. <laughs> like and theoretically can play a lot of different positions. So and he annoyingly has the single um, digit finishing and first touch which I think is uh, one of the reasons we're getting him on pressing forward right now huge aggression good work rate which is nice to see and a little bit better passing yeah so I think Sockel definitely the pressing forward kind of vibe for sure I think there's no questions there but yeah I guess I'll have to make sure that uh, we're using Moffat as the um, the attacking forward as much as possible and just really have to lean on him to actually like score the final goals. Um, long shots, what do we got over here? See, that's interesting, McKenzie. I wonder if McKenzie might end up in the end making a decent um, like shadow striker. Get an older player and already shoot well. Well, and that's true. I mean, we have, like, we have 
um, Moffat now in that role. I was kind of hoping the striker we brought in on loan would have better finishing. We didn't have a full scout on him, so we really didn't have an idea, but I just assumed because he was from a much higher quality club. Um, let's take a look at our short list, though. No, not you. Do we not have anyone? Hmm. Shadow Striker sounds more like fancy game class than a soccer position, <laughs> right? So yeah, Shadow Striker um, is here. So like, if we went with something like this, for example, right, we have Moffat up there, uh, and then we declare this to be sort of a Shadow Striker. So they're shooting from a distance. <laughs> it's like Moffat's just the best in it all the time at all these things. Um, so Mackenzie could theoretically do it, although Mancini's not in a bad place for that right now, which is all of a sudden kind of interesting. 4-1-3-1-1. Deep line playmaker. So, you know, whoever's over here. Um, both are probably fine at that. So the ball tends to go to him, which doesn't work. Well, we just changed to not distribute the flanks over here. But so Chalmers would be the target of the ball a lot. And then he would look to redistribute it to one of the two sort of strikers or one of the wingers over here. The shadow striker get hide in plain sight. Well, I mean, we wouldn't run Adeloy here. Duh. Like, Houston or something else is fine. Um, one thing that's a bit of a shame is that we don't have... Uh, we're not, we're not going to have the ability to support like inverted wingers and things in uh, this particular tier of play. It's a little too demanding. You know, bring McSwell up instead like that. I mean... Give Finn a try. We could try to run this next time. We haven't tried to play... Well, some of this. Why is the trigger press? God, things are bad over there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's much better. Is that next back down to standard? Is that what they're more familiar with? Still not great. What's her base version for trigger press? Oh, it is more often. But then... Okay, I guess it's the same. I guess it's with with everyone involved or how they play. So yeah, we still don't have a tremendous amount of familiarity with this tactic. But, maybe. Which level do we have to get an assassin change for Shadow Striker? Yeah, it's a prestige class, exactly. This might be interesting. I don't think we're going to use it in the next one. But this might be very interesting to try. Well, we've got, we've got two weeks. Can we practice the hell out of our tactical familiarity in the upcoming two weeks and play the strat? I don't know. we gotta, we got to put a cut in here. We're, we're over time, so I'm going to put a cut in. I'm going to strongly consider what we might do over here. Um, yeah, Ekropont is... I, he's, he's still learning. But he should be pretty good in this role. So we're going to do that. What is SPT? Oh, sporting teammate, yeah. Um, I think he's got a lot of potential. So I kind of like the idea of him getting the extra practice. He's in a good mood right now. Like, McSwell is our best person in this position. But McSwell is going to run up here. That's the thing. There's not that many people that are better in this position than Ekropont that aren't already assigned to something, right? So McAllister is about the same. And McAllister is going to be better in sort of one of these central positions as a sub over there. So Ekropont is going to be a good pick there. Mm hmm Well, you have a good balance tactics practice as well. Yeah. We might, um, we're going to see if we can, we'll set this, leave this here as our selected tactic. Uh, I don't know if in training you can have them specifically work on a tactic. I don't think so. You know, match tactics, but you don't choose. It just, like, it does boost the tactical familiarity, which is what we're looking for. So we probably want to load in a little bit more of that. Um, and then uh, also keep up these extracurriculars again because we're still trying to get the team bonding up 
I mean, maybe they can, like, bond in how cranky they are about how cranky I am. I don't know. But yeah, the recent form has not been good. So we have, we have to try something. So maybe this is it. We'll see. Anyway, we're uh, you can pick at the top of the training screen. Oh, primary tactics over there. Thank you. There we go. There, we'll do that. Try to crank up the familiarity of this. And maybe we'll try to use this for the uh, the next time. Fingers crossed. All right, uh, I believe a Kiss for Luck is going to be streaming right now. Let's take a look at what she's doing at her channel. Wouldn't surprise me if it was Farming Simulator. It is Farming Simulator. So we're going to raid that. Next live stream is going to be on Wednesday. Um, Wednesday has been Hearts of Iron. I might take a break from it this week. Uh, I'm not feeling the playing as Russia kind of vibe uh, for things. Instead, we might take a dip back into the Humankind game. So there will be a stream on Wednesday. Just don't know what we're going to be playing yet. Uh, and then uh, Saturday is going to be more Dwarf Fortress. Next Monday, more Futsal Ball Manager. Give a kiss for luck, some love for me, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Bye-bye, everyone.